Hello everyone, thank you for joining me for Success Made Simple and we are talking about 15 keys to success. We've already gone through seven of those so if you haven't seen the previous ones make sure you check them out either in my Facebook feed or go to my YouTube channel because they're really powerful and they're all based on the Word of God. Today we're talking about number eight and this is a tough one. This is still tough for me. I'm sure it's tough for you too, but boy, if we can get a handle on this, it opens up so many doors for opportunity. <gasps> Any guesses? Well, number eight is learn to handle criticism. Oh my gosh, that's so painful. I actually was just in a meeting today where I felt kind of like someone was criticizing me and I was like, I don't want to be in this meeting. I don't want to do this. And then I realized like, hey, this is part of like, you're more mature than this. Criticism, there's two kinds and I'll go into that, but criticism often is something that as we learn to receive, really is one of the greatest gifts for us to be able to move to the next level. Now, not all criticism is criticism we want to listen to, okay? So I'm going to explain the two kinds. There is a criticism, and maybe criticism is a little bit of a harsh word for it, but the person's heart is actually to help you, okay? Most often, we might find this in our marriage relationship. Who wants to be corrected or criticized by their spouse, right? Not me, and I don't always handle it real well, but I know Dave's heart. Dave's heart is not to be right. Dave's heart is always to help me. So with that, knowing that his heart behind anything that feels like criticism is actually something that if I listen to, I bring it before the Lord, could actually help me in an area that I might have a blind spot. Or maybe I don't have all the knowledge that I would like to have in an area and I have a learning curve. Well, that would be something too that if I'm purposely around somebody that knows more about a subject than I do, and maybe they're correcting me and I see it as criticism, I'm actually throwing away a gift of somebody with a good heart helping me to achieve the next level or to learn something that I didn't know. Now, the other kind of criticism is somebody whose heart is actually full of malice towards you. Uh, some of us, uh, you know, not me, thankfully, but some people have experienced even a parent being very critical, speaking negative things over them. And you know what? That's really tough. Some of us have worked for bosses that have been extremely critical. We couldn't do anything right. Uh, and they had a heart of malice to harm. It's important that you discern which, de which you are dealing with. Because if someone has a good heart that wants to help you, but everything they say and they try to correct you or maybe ask you to do things a different way, if you receive that as criticism, the very person that God put in a leadership capacity over you to teach you and help you to go to the next level, you are blocking and you're not allowing them to help teach and train you and you're gonna be stagnated, okay? But if you've got a situation where somebody is just cruel, they're saying things that you know aren't true, to harm you, to discourage you, to bring fear, uh, to make you feel like you're, you're not good enough, that something's wrong with you, that's the type of criticism that actually we say, I'm not going to listen to that, but we can handle it in a way where we channel it according to God's word. So when we've got somebody that is being critical and it's not out of a good heart, or maybe they're just a critical person and what they're saying isn't even something that you want to improve on, we have to look at ourselves then through the lens of what God says about us. And you know what? When we go through these times, God doesn't want people around you trying to tear you down or, or to harm you in any way. But this is a tough world sometimes and not everybody is nice all the time. So God has given us the tool of seeing ourselves, our identity in Him and receiving what he says about us in the face of that criticism. And when you are able to handle criticism in both of those situations, I'll tell you what, 
you have mastered an amazing trait of a successful person, which will lead to a successful life.